Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of iknowindices.com. Hope you are able to hear me. Yeah, fine. Good day, Sandra. Thanks for confirming the sound. Let me display the PowerPoint presentation. Asian session live market analysis on May 23rd between 5 and 5.30 GMT. It is a simple market tracking technique using the live market code page. I have given the link for the same. I will also focus the camera over that of the live market code page. So you can see, Euro is trading around 1 1.4075, 1.4075, 1 1.4065 is the low, 1 1.4145 is the high. About 85 pips negative net change is seen. So after Friday, a quick rise and a quick fall, Euro has made for the drop. Now during that of the Japanese session, and they breached the initial low and they formed a new low and trading there. And in the case of JPP, it is trading around 1 1.6203, 1 1.6207, 1.6197 is the low, 1.6231 1 is the high, 26 pips negative net change is seen. When Euro has dropped about 84 pips, see, JPP has dropped only about 25 pips. Because of that, Euro JPP has come to that of 86 zone. From that of 0 0.87, it has come and uh, come below that and formed 0 0.8683 as the low. 38 pips negative net change is seen. All along last week, I would have noticed that GBB was looking weak and Euro was looking strong. They gained the levels and they went up to 88 area in the case of Euro GBP and now they are just making the drop in the case of Euro and holding GBP. So this nothing but the contrary in move, nothing to do with regard to the weakness and the strength of any of the currencies. They use all the type of data release and also speeches and remarks etc. and try to make such moves. But ultimately what we need to understand is that they just, just to do the opposite of what they had done earlier. So this is how they create the market sentiment and act against that of the traders. And every time they will use different type of excuses, but we should not give more focus on the excuses. Instead, we should focus on the type of moves they are doing in the market that will be able to really help us to take trading decisions. In the case of USDN, 8190, 8193 or the current levels, 8160 is the low, 82 is the high and 20 pips positive net change is seen. So when Euro and GBP are showing negative net change, USDN is showing positive net change, but a nominal positive net change. So you come across USD gaining moves in the three currencies. And similarly in the case of USDCH of 8793, 8796 are the current levels. 8756 is the low, 8798 is the high. 21 pips positive net change is seen. When Euro has dropped about 84 pips, CHF has only gained about 21 pips. Because of that, Euro CHF has come to the next lower level, 1.23 area. 1.2378, 1.2381 are the current levels in Euro CHF. 1.2348 is the low, below the psychological level, 1.2350. And then the high was 1.2424. And now 43 pips negative net change is seen. So by making contrarian move, making more drop in the case of Euro and less gain in the case of CHF, USD CHF, they are able to bring down Euro CHF. Then in the case of the commodity pairs, Canadian dollar is trading around 97.64, 97.68, 97.36 is the low, 97.67 is the high, a narrow range swing is seen, about 25 pips positive net change is seen, but in the case of Australian dollar, about 89 pips negative net change is seen, it is currently trading around 1.0570, 1.0573. 1.0561 is the low, 1.0654 is the high. So they are dropped from the high about 90 to 95 pips. So about 89 pips negative net change is seen. So Euro and Australian dollar have dropped more among the numerator currencies, whereas GBP has dropped less. Then with regard to the denominator currencies, they are all making only similar moves of about 20 pips from that of the previous day close, that is Friday close. So you find that the players are handling on the downside, the crosses. As a result, you find Euro Yen is showing negative net change and GBBN is showing positive net change because GBBN has made lesser drop. And 
you find the European crosses also making big moves for the week beginning. So let us see how exactly the market is expected to move during this particular day and the week. So let me focus the camera over that of the line over that of the PowerPoint presentation and display the slide the expected market moves for today. So during Japanese session spring and rise moves are expected. So probably GBP could make the rise and give the trigger for the market towards close of Japanese session. As a result, Euro might gain nominally. And then a quick firming up move is expected during early European session. Probably they can uh, extend it to mid uh, European session as well. And then the slide is expected towards close of European session. And US session you could come across some subdued swings. The uncertainty might prevail. So in this particular week, the last week of the month, then 23rd to 27th of this particular uh, month falls in this week. So 23rd is today. So you come across the gaining moves till that of the early European session. Afterwards, that of the drop is expected. And tomorrow you could come across the gaining moves again during that of the Japanese and the European session and all through that of the US session. So it is not that just because zero has come to below that of 1.41, so it, it is their bearish signal and they are trying to create it that way and try to induce the traders to liquidate or go in for a short selling and then subsequently they are expected to gain because they have to make moves on a daily basis so they cannot continuously drop and you have to keep it in mind and once they stop cutting the low for more than 30 minutes to 2 hours then you can initiate a buy and similarly once they form the high and quickly turn around there without breaching the high then you can go in for a sell and buy trade so you should be able to judge it according to that of the moves they are doing each session and that way you will be able to trade without any bias whether a bullish or a bearish field they are all nothing but the swing trade opportunities you can do a buy and sell trade or a sell and buy trade and the downside in the case of Euro and GBP are limited. Keep that in mind and try to trade. So don't try to get struck with that of the lowest level sell and later on repent for it. Because many of the traders have got the feel that once the drop has happened and the support turns to be a resistance, then they go in for an aggressive selling in order to earn back the last money. And they are the people, they are I mean the players try to trap quickly. So keep that in mind and trade along with that of the players and they create the sentiment and act against that of the traders. And on Friday it was a visible example when the downgrade news was there and immediately they started dropping euro and suddenly it started gaining. So people were stunned why the gain was there and they gained the level to 1.42 in the case of Euro and 1.63 in the case of GDP and then started making the quick draw. So this sort of pump and dump moves are part of the game and this week you could come across more volatile moves. So tomorrow the gaining moves are expected and Wednesday you will come across very big either way moves. So they could make a spread of about 200 to 300 pips between the low and the high on Wednesday. So keep that in mind and try to trade. Do only swing trades during the last week of the month and don't try to do position trade immediately. Let them settle and form the new lows in the case of Euro and GBP. Afterwards, you try to take buy positions and hold it. Next month, they are expected to gain the levels in the case of Euro and GBP. And on Thursday and Friday, you will come across the quick drops happening in the market. So Thursday and Friday, probably you could see euro below that of 1.40 and probably uh, they could reach 1.38 area. And in the case of GBB, they could come to about 1.60 area. And GBB is not expected to make very big drop. This time, Eero is expected to make another 200 to 250 pips drop only. And most of the time, last week you would have noticed that most of the time they had done the sideways move. Similar moves could be seen in this week with 
sporadic downward move and the players are inducing the traders to take buy and sell trade and try to trap them and induce them to liquidate even though they are try to buy at the lowest level for the season still they will try to show still lower level then they become jittery and liquidate the long position afterwards the players gain the levels in order to book profit next month so this is how the market is expected to make the moves so today the market is expected to make a firming up move till early or mid european session afterwards they are expected to slide euro and gbp probably gbp might hold and euro alone may make the slide so as a result euro gbp could come down further and tomorrow you could come across gbp beginning move and which will create the market sentiment for euro also to gain and day after tomorrow wednesday you'll come across very big rise during that of the uh, early japanese session and also gaining the level and then afterwards they are expected to gain further levels during that of the your session on wednesday before making a drop quick drop and the rise during that of the late european session on wednesday then thursday and friday after gaining all the levels they are expected to make one side a downward move so that you try to keep it in mind but this coming friday close they are expected to make an upward spike so the market is going to be very interesting and you will not be able to understand what they are trying to do but calmly trade and see that quick moves are false moves in the market that you have to keep it in mind quick moves are false move and during the first quick move you should not enter wait for the three successive drops and then try to take a buy and then once again the levels quickly keep stop at entry and try to capture the profit as quickly as possible and similarly on the downside also so when they make a downward move it doesn't mean that the market is going to drop just like that continuously they will create the sentiments by such quick moves and you know that making a quick move is very easy for them they can use all or none order and push the market down all the uh, low level sell orders will get exposed the stops will get exposed and they will keep another buy order to buy all the sells so that is how they buy the stops at the lower level and so they are very sensible traders they buy it at the lowest level and sell it at the highest level but we traders think that okay when they reach to the high and probably for the high it could show then we try to do a buy and sell trade as a very risky trade similarly after the drop we try to go in for a sell and buy trade for about 30 40 pips without understanding the upward risk in that now with regard to the initial lows and the highs you know formed the low 1.4079 they reached that low and formed a new low 1.4065 so they are just breached the low and the high is intact whereas in the case of gbp the low is not breached so can understand that euro alone they breached the low and the gbp low probably during the early european session they may just make a dip and then gain as a down stop and in the case of chf 8756 is the low 8798 is the high so you can understand on the upside by four pips they just made an upward stop and so when euro has made a quick drop below that for about 10 to 15 pips whereas chf has gained only about 4 5 pips then in the case of yen 8160 and 82 are intact and australian dollar 1.0566 they breached and formed 1.0561 as a new low and 1.0654 is the high which is intact they have dropped about 89 pips and also euro 86 pips so only in the case of euro and the australian dollar as if they are bad currencies they have made the drop gbp has become a good currency now less drop seen so otherwise normally people used to say that gbp is very weak but this time around they say that it is not so but euro is a bad currency that is how they are alternatively add attribute to the currencies but they are all tradable that we have to
then with regard to the Canadian dollars, uh, 8736 is the low, which is intact. 8767 is formed as a new high. So, which is about four, three pips above that of the high. So, you can understand that they wanted to gain the levels in the case of Canadian dollar to start with afterwards Swiss franc and later on they could gain the levels in the case of yen. So, this is how they are expected to breach the lows and the highs for the day. So, in the case of Euro, they breach the low. In the case of CHF, they breach the high and yen they are not disturbed. GBB they are not disturbed and Australian dollar they breach the low and Canadian dollar they breach the high. So with regard to the when, when compared with it of the initial lows and the highs formed. So basically what you come across is market is simply making the continuation move on Friday close move and it may give that impression for many of the traders that you know GBB are going to have continuous drop. But keep in mind that players are here to make either way moves and don't go with that of the market sentiments and they create the market sentiment and act against that of the traders. Keep that in mind. Let me minimize the PowerPoint presentation and take up the questions which are asked here. I will focus the camera meanwhile over that of the live market code which and try to answer to the questions which are asked here. Then Herman has got a question. Is the euro the weak beginning false move? So weak beginning false move will be a rise during that of the European session. Now they have made their drop and they are expected to gain the levels. So indicating that weak beginning either way moves because the downside is limited with regard to euro and GBP. So they have to make the either way swings in this week also. And if you have noticed the first week of May they made a visible drop so from 1.49 they dropped it to 1.40 but subsequently you find that market is making only sideways moves so you know they took it up to 1.43 and then dropped it to 1.40 area and GBB they took it up to 1.63 and then to 1.61 area so they are just sideways move and either way swings are happening in the market but in the case of denominator currency slowly they are gaining the levels from uh, 80 level to 81, 82 level they are taken yen and from that of 86 they are taken CHF to 87 probably it was there around 88 and then made a drop and then gaining the levels and in the case of Canadian dollar also only sideways move but Australian dollar from 1.10 they dropped it to 1.05 in the first week itself, they are hovering around the same level, 1.07 to 1.05. So, you have to understand that the players are now trying to accumulate buy. Afterwards, they will make one extended downward stop in, in order to hit the stops of those who have taken buy position along with them before making a rise. So that those who have taken a very good buy positions will become frightened when they drop further down another 100 to 100 pips and once again they repent this is what happens normally so what I suggest is look for some downward stop and moves in some currencies and then try to take the buy position so euro below that of the psychological level 1.40 around 1.39 or 1.3850 area and in GDP around 1.60 area you can try to take a buy position and watch how exactly they are doing it but try to keep stop at entry so that you are not hurt and in case if they drop further down understand that they are only making a downward stop and in order to make a quick rise and they hit the stops and buy so that we have to keep it in mind so when euro was around 1.49 and you know that the way in which they created the impression that it could go to 1.52 so that is how they will try to do it on the downside. So we have to understand that they are only trying to create the market sentiment by that. So don't become bearish straight away. And what's the overall monthly trend and also the weekly trend? Then you will understand that 
the weekly limitation of 350 pips also they are not making moves that means they are doing only sideways moves then francisco with australian dollar start to continue to drop more than euro yeah they could make for the drop in the case of australian dollar to 1.04 area and they probably they could reverse around that level but not immediately they are expected to make either way moves then robert if you patiently hold a long position we might be able to see the profit by next month yes but it is not that any level buy you can hold and you know that the platforms also charge overnight interest and you have to keep all those things in mind and in case if you are doing over trading and when the market goes against you protect your equity and see theoretically holding a buy position you will be able to see prof profit next month but practically there might be so many problems the platform might be charging overnight interest and also whenever there is a quick move the play, the platform can provide margin call if the adequate margin is not there so keep all those things in mind and then try to trade then genius volatility equals to profitability yes if you are a smart trader then volatility is a great trading opportunity and if you are not smart enough then you will only try to blame others and also the market see by blaming market you don't gain anything see the stupid market is going up and down which is giving any uh, indication what is the use of shouting at the market so ultimately you have to shout at yourself and understand that market means quick moves so market is expected to make such quick moves it's nothing to do with that of the support and the resistance you know very well see what support and resistance we have seen on friday when they brought in a big volatile move and so after the drop you may say that okay 1.4155 appears to be a support but now today you will say no it is 1.4045 could be the strong support so we can imagine so many times or uh, different occasions imagine okay this could be the support this could be the support when they start breaching it you will say no support come on sell then the market reverses that's all once you lose patience the players trap you then robert do you think that the currency being talked down as a bad is one we should focus that is how they create the sentiment okay so they say that it is a useless currency how many times they have said us dollar is a useless currency it is equivalent to that of the toilet paper so you can understand how they created such sentiments but they don't make it as a zero value currency you no know? so how do you choose between which could give better swing for that day between euro and gbp no you have to i explain many times you see the spread between the low and the high in the case of euro the spread is nearly about 100 pips whereas in the case of gbp is just about 35 pips so 30 pips negative net change is seen in the case of euro and 86 pips negative net change is seen in the case of euro uh, sorry euro and gbp just made 30 pips negative net change <laughs> i explained that once a currency makes more than 75 pips net change then it will take a longer time for it to recover whereas a currency which has made about just about 20 30 pips negative net change can just like that reverse it so gbp could give a great trading opportunity today and in line with that of sentiment of gbp they could gain levels in the case of euro then afterwards you can do a sell and buy trade in the case of euro after the rise but keep in mind that they are all nothing but the swing trades i am not telling that euro will drop to zero or rise to infinity and things like that because many people have got the uh, feel when i say rise immediately about 500 600 pips and simply say that who oh, it has gained only 70 pips what is a big deal i am only giving a suggestion for about 50 to 60 pips trade call okay so it is a level of understanding 
and if you are under the grip of market fear and whatever the forecast i give it will look redundant but if you are able to sense that the players are making small moves to start with then later on once the volume accumulate in the market the traders commit positions they make big moves in the market then they will be able to trade accordingly so gbb is expected to give trading opportunity now other day is friday you have seen that gbb quickly gained to 1.63 they may revisit earlier they have been doing it like this euro went up to 1.43 and dropped 1.43 and dropped so similarly gbp they could do this time 1.63 and drop 1.63 and drop that sort of moves then ram can you please tell me the sequence of denominator currencies and players play with there's no sequences of denominator currencies they alternatively make moves in the denominator currencies the sequence of trend reversal will be in the case first of all they start with it as a commodity pairs canadian dollar and australian dollar the australian dollar they could suddenly start gaining the levels then understand that the next one will be the uh, yen crosses then afterwards the majors then finally the european crosses euro gbp euro chf and gbp chf that's how they make the reversal moves then sundar the australian dollar and euro swing up to initial high at the close of the japanese session how can it happen so quickly about 100 pips rise in just another 2 hours so you have to apply your logistics in that so during that of the european session mid european session they may gain it closer to that of the high unless and otherwise a big trigger comes from that of the european union we may not see a rise of about 100 pips so it shows that we are in a hurry for the market to move but the players test the patience of the traders then nasco what do you see on euro chf yeah euro chf they made that downward move again to gain back but they are making wide range swings here in the case of euro chf and soon i am expecting chf to shoot up and without giving much of a retracement move and chf is expected again quickly similar to what canadian dollar has done chf is expected to, and so far everybody is thinking it is a safe haven currency and they could show it other way it is also a tradable currency then chat do you expect euro to go to 1.43 1.44 no probably it can go to 1.42 and uh, mid week it can go to 1.4250 area not to 44 because if they gain such levels those who have got the long positions will just book profit they may not come for long liquidation during this weekend when they drop they expect those who are holding buy around 1.43 1.44 area to liquidate so they will not show those levels then matthew how much do they drop euro and gbp today cutting the low the downside could be very limited today zabira see they may gain the levels during that of the european session and after we come back to the same level and swing around the same level during that of the year session and tomorrow they are expected to gain the levels keep it in mind the zebra these are all the estimates from that of the forecast algorithm so it can vary but i am trying to give it as much as possible uh the updates with regard to the market moves based on the market reading so i am giving the forecast and fine tune it with that of the market reading so if you develop the tendency to blame you can blame me but if you think that okay i am trying to do my best to give you the uh, forecast how much possible to me then you can use it zebra what is your expectations of euro gbp in european session euro gbp i don't know whether it is euro and gbp or euro gbp cross 
the euro and gbp are expected to gain the levels during that of the european session and euro gbp is expected to slide euro gbp cross i mean then tim can we buy euro now for 30 40 pips yeah you can see when you are trying to do against the market sentiment try to see that you are keeping stop at entry as soon as the profit is seen then francisco what is the best way to hedge a small euro long position at a higher level you should have done the hedging when they had dropped and uh, so now we are trying to do a crisis management then long euro ch or short Australian dollar. I explained Francisco this many times that we don't, when you don't have the hedging facility uh, in the same currency pair in the trading platform, you have to see that a currency which has made similar moves. So Euro has made about 85 pips drop. So Australian dollar has made about 93 pips law, uh, negative net change. So for a euro long, you can keep 30 pips below that of the market a yeah, sell order. That is how the hedging has to be done. And if you try to take a buy position in the case of CHF, you can do so, but they may not rise that much when euro makes further drop. Then your reusable margin will get eroded. So that you have to see the net changes, what they are do trying to do. Similar net changes, those currencies you can choose. Otherwise, you can choose the currency like euro australian dollar cross there again you can use the hedging but at the time of taking position you could have kept the hedging order but not trying to avert margin call now that will make you more distress when, when i if currency is near the lower high for more than 30 minutes but not breach, do you take positions? Yeah, I'll see the spread, the high and the low, and the spread is more than 45 to 55 pips. Then near that of the high, when the high is not breached, I take a sell. Near that of the low, when the low is not being breached for 30 minutes to 2 hours, I take a buy. You know that. Then Janice, do you use astrology? No, no, no astrology, sir. Some of your calls are around, around interesting happening. It is nothing to do with astrology. Uh, it is a scientific calculation, astrophysics. No. Then Tim, it is below the low for one hour. So initial low, yes, it is below that of the initial low, but let us stop cutting the low. You can just watch and later on take positions. Then genius. We have a nice falling wedge for back to 1.4130 and up is visually looks like. Okay, you can use any other type of parameter also, any other type of calculation. So I am not standing on the way. Zebra. See, I am only explaining my position, my methodology and you can always use various other methodologies to fine tune your entries and the exits. Zebra, expectations of USDN, the yeah, USDN is expected slowly gain the levels and it is not at breach the high, so it has to breach the high and stay above there for more than 30 minutes, then further gains could be seen. Yeah, astrophysics genius is a different methodology, you know, that is uh, studying the electromagnetic impulses which are coming from that of the various planets and trying to measure it and trying to identify how much of impact, impact it is expected to give over that of the decision making abilities. I explained it many times that such electromagnetic impulses are to influence the endocrine glands, especially the pituitary gland, master gland, and because of that, the emotion is trying to grip over that of the neural sense. The normal decision-making process, process using the cerebral hemisphere 
instead if you come across that endocrine system is trying to control over that it is referred as a neurohormonal regulation and then you find that emotional decisions are being taken by people see it is not only the traders even some of the politicians some of the institutional leaders they take emotional decisions and later on find such decisions are proved to be wrong so it is beyond their control and you won't be knowing how exactly they are taking such decisions later on they might repent because those who are taken wrong decisions always they repent later on but at the time of de taking decision they don't know that they are taking a wrong decision nobody will be willingly taking a wrong decision so there comes the extraneous influence over that of the decision making so even the uh, players are not spared they also take emotional decisions so as long as we are all human we are bound to be under the grip of emotion sometime or the other so the trigger can be extraneous or it can be internal so the extraneous stimulus which is coming from that of the various planets as electromagnetic impulses they are being measured and then they are quantified to find out how much of impact it could give with regard to that of the the elaboration of the fear so once the market fear grips then you come across the market start making quick moves so that is being calibrated to find out whether it could be 30 pips move or 50 pips move or 100 pips move or a spike and things like that so it took 12 years for me to establish this so if you simply say it is astrology then you can keep your view it is nothing to do with astrology because none of the planetary positions are being taken into consideration here very true it's about a tendency of influence to calibrate much require you to spend you know that amount of emotions can be calibrated and to what extent it can lead to you know under the grip of emotions people commit crimes some people commit crime like a killing you know stabbing a person and things like that later on he repents that when he has when the other person is dead he realizes that he has committed a big crime and for that a big punishment is there then he tries to do two options one he try to come out of that and try to hide that otherwise he also uh, develop fear psychosis because of that he tries to avoid evidences commit more and more crimes so you find that one leads to other they are all nothing but the influence of the endocrine system so everybody has got that endocrine system which is very essential for our normal body functioning but sometimes it is trying to act like a brain there comes the biggest problem okay let me go back to that of the powerpoint presentation the expected market moves for today so swing and rise moves are expected during the, the japanese session and firming up and slide could be seen during that of the european session early european session there could be a quick rise using some data or any other attribute and the slow slide could happen and you know that quick moves or falls move as i explained many times so they quickly gain the level start booking or developing or just selling in the market and building sell positions so that is why a so slide happens then your session they will create uncertainty making swings and later on tomorrow they are expected to make a flat opening and start gaining the levels just like that and then we will understand that as they could have bought the position but today if you see market will look very weak that is how the market is so with regard to the initial lows and the high zero formed in the low 1.4079 which has breached and still holding below probably about is going to get over with the two hours then started making this rise gbb made the dip to 6191 So the low has been breached now, and in the case of CHF, they breached the high. Yen, they are not breached the low or the high. 
they are not trillion dollar they breach the low and afterwards they are not cut it then canadian dollar they breach the high but all nominal moves so wait so wait for some good moves and try to take positions and if you are trading in majors the four majors in the two commodity pairs so wait for the session start or session close time so quick moves will happen at the time try to take position and try to exit out of the positions as quickly as possible holding the position for a long time is not greatness how quickly you are able to book profit there comes the greatness so i take this opportunity to thank everybody and also fx street for this kind of opportunity so i'll come again and review the market and give the market reading for tomorrow and we will compare it with that of the forecast and see how exactly the forecast is being reflected in the market or it is deviated from that of the market so thank you one and all see you again tomorrow 5 gmt thank you